Well, welcome everybody. It's a great day. Uh, my name is Mike Nutter. I'm the Vice President of the uh, Board for Visit Fort Wayne, and it's an honor to be here with you today. We have two great distinguished folks that are winning 2014 Hoosier Hospitality Awards. Each year, the Indiana State Office of Tourism and the Indiana uh, Lieutenant Governor, I was right, I shouldn't have looked down, <laughs> recognize the individuals who exemplify Indiana's famous Hoosier hospitality. I can't think of two better people and two better places that they represent than the two people that we get to recognize today. Today we recognize Angie Harder from Cindy's Diner and Jim Hodgin from Science Central. These two people, along with 8,000 other Allen County people who work in the hospitality industry, greet and meet people every day. We at the Visit Fort Wayne Board and of course all the staff here could not be more proud of the representatives that we have out there on the front line. What I get to do for a living all the time, I get to hear about that great Hoosier hospitality. And whether you're going to an awesome museum, a great restaurant, or other places around, there's no doubt that's, that's what this is all about. They make it a better place to visit, and certainly for all of us locals that like going to these establishments, a great place to live. At this time, Visit Fort Wayne President Dan O'Connell, along with State Representatives Martin Carbaugh and Phil Giaquina, will help present the awards. Thank you, Biden. Can we give Mike a round of applause? Thanks, Mike. And also, uh, give a round of applause to our two representatives who took time from their yeah. business. Absolutely. <laughs> get to it. First up is Angie Harder. Angie, will you come up and join the representatives here? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about Angie? She's been a waitress at uh, our Fort Wayne's famous Cindy's Diner for 18 years. She was nominated for this award by one of her customers. All her customers get the same personal attention from Angie. She has an impeccable memory for recalling everyone's customer's favorite order if you haven't done that, you wonder if she'll remember what you had three weeks ago in order to <laughs> And she can hold her own when she's bantering or needling or giving uh, the customers the business. So she can also keep track of everybody's order and pour coffee and also keep uh, everybody in, uh, in control. And also including John over there. <laughs> all the cooking and serving of garbage. So uh, she also talks about quite a bit of politics. Uh, she's up on uh, current events and she's all... Uh, always can give you an in-depth analysis of the last night's tin caps game. So she That's really right. can, uh, does a good job of greeting people, meeting them personally, and doing a wonderful job and giving a few zingers back when she gets a few of her own. So <laughs> thank you for uh, all you do. Thank you for your Hoosier hospitality that you give to all our guests and uh, keeping everybody in order and straight in downtown Fort Wayne. Angie, it takes great pride to uh, recognize you as one of our famous Hoosier hospitality. Thank, thank you, you. Dan. <laughs> Why don't you come up and join us? This is Jim Hodgson. He's been with Science Central uh, shortly after it opened. But for over 16 years, he's coordinated hundreds, if not thousands, of field trips, science camps, birthday parties, group outings, scout activities, all the special events that go on at Science Central. He's been the center man. And for many people, he's the voice of Science Central. They know Jim. They look for that famous beard when they come back. <laughs> he's come back year after year. With a combination of humor, smiles, certainly a lot of knowledge of science and insight, the kids really see him as the embodiment of Science Central. And he fulfills their mission, which is providing an experience that provides not only education and cultural activities, but really entertainment and a fun, hands-on experience. Jim, on behalf of all of us, we want to thank you for your hospitality, and on behalf of all your students, keep it up. Thank you. <laughs> Say something to the podium if you'd like. Jim first. Ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> um, I just want to thank you for nominating me, and I do enjoy working at Cindy's Diner and waiting on all of you guys all the time. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Megan, who's not here. <laughs> um, and I will continue to serve you and have Hoosier hospitality. Mike? We need a win tonight. But. 
Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank all of my fellow co-workers at Science Central, obviously. Um, I can't do what I do without their support and without their help and everything else. But I also love Fort Wayne and Northeast Indiana. I mean, I've been here a long time. I've been in the nonprofit sector for over 30 years. I, there's pictures of me floating around in a Fort Soldier when the Fort was open. I have been in the tourist industry for a long time, and this really means a lot to me. Thank you all very much. We have uh, one announcement to make. Uh, our uh, Vice President of Marketing, uh, Kristen Gunter, yeah. come up tell us something. Yeah, I'll, I'll maybe stand up. over here. Okay, the spirit of Hoosier Hospitality. We invite everyone to join us and be a tourist in your own hometown on Sunday, September 7th. That is the day when you pick up your free passport and get free admission to 12 museums and attractions, including Science Central and some of our great architectural gems like the Courthouse, the Lincoln Tower. Uh, it's a wonderful day to kind of all experience the Hoosier hospitality of these great museums and attractions we have in our community. So we encourage you to do that on Sunday, September 7th from noon to 5. Great. Awesome. So on behalf of Visit Fort Wayne and Mike and the board and all our staff and certainly the representatives helped uh, support the cause of tourism in our state and our region and certainly our city, thank you for taking the leadership that is a great example for everybody that works in our industry and thank you all for coming today. That's it. Thank you.